Hello and welcome to my podcast called Innovation. Innovation was inspired by my previous podcast, Silence, where over the course of two years, I spoke every week with a total of 100 women from science, technology, engineering and mathematics or STEM. I kept all of those guests anonymous so that they could talk openly and honestly about their lives. We discussed their experiences, what they've learned along their life journeys and their hopes and ideas for living, fulfilling and contented lives. Because their identities were always kept safe, the conversations on silence were always so raw and transparent. And we didn't just talk about being women in STEM, but about everything. The topics that tended to come up are the same topics that I discuss with my own friends and family, or I discuss with my mentees, or people come and ask me about after I've given a talk in schools and colleges. So it seems to me that there are certain topics that are really important to us and not so easy to discuss with everyone. So what I've done is sift through all the episodes of Silence to bring you my favourite soundbites on these certain topics. And each week on Innovation, I'll be reflecting on the perspectives that came up on Silence that I feel are actually pearls of wisdom from my women in STEM that I found particularly provoking, inspiring and empowering in the hope that they resonate with you too. So I wanted to do an episode about speaking up because uh, it's really hard for women in STEM, I know, to speak up and make their voices heard um, and to actually feel confident about speaking their mind. I think when you're a minority, like the only woman in a sea of men, um, it can be really difficult to speak up because you just think, ah, maybe my opinion doesn't really count and a lot of people aren't going to really relate or understand or agree. So maybe I'll just keep quiet. And that's such a shame. But I also wanted to bring up an episode of Speaking Up because uh, a lot of women that I've met who are in STEM are actually so badass that they speak up too much. Sometimes we can just want to keep talking and talking and talking to make our point heard. And that can be detrimental as well. Like, feeling like we need to say things more than once when actually we've been heard the first time it's just people don't want to listen so I wanted to sort of like just I don't know talk about the subject and see what comes up from different episodes of silence and just get my head around it really because speaking up I think is really important but it's also something that can get me in trouble anyway so first up is a quote from episode 49 where she really talks about the scariness of speaking up and why she doesn't actually prefer to do it. And I think that speaking up is very scary. Like all these things that I'm telling you right now, I don't think I would ever say out loud anywhere else because it is so controversial that it's almost like not allowed to talk about. Yeah. So that was the reason why I ended up having all my guests remain anonymous because the idea of them speaking their truths and then having their identity revealed was often quite a barrier. Like if they knew they were going to be named on the podcast, they were less likely to want to come on and speak. And it kind of threw up all kinds of issues for me because um, obviously when you're doing a podcast, you want to make a song and dance about the incredible women or the incredible interviewees that I was having on the show. But I wouldn't have had such a strong, honest, transparent conversation with these women if I had revealed their identities. So, you know, speaking up is often tied to our identity You know, we don't want to have to really talk about how we really feel and what we really think because we'll then get typecast or it will be forever, you know, stuck to our identities. And that's really interesting. Like this idea that we don't actually want to speak up because it will be part of our reputation. Um, You know, I think to have that mentality of not wanting to speak up because people will know who you are is, you know, there's a lot of fear in that. And 
that's such a shame because you know to be scared of what we really think and what we really feel and what we really believe isn't positive and that brings up all kinds of stuff about our insides matching our outsides because you know if we can't actually speak our truth hmm you know that's kind of sad but at the same time you know a lot of what we really think and what we really feel is something that we do have to hold back because you know we have to stay professional or we have to stay politically correct and all that kind of stuff but I think when we don't speak up because we're scared of what other people think of us that gets into kind of unhealthy territory and my next guest from episode 34 talks about how she couldn't speak up because she actually felt really intimidated and I think when we're in situations like that we really do have to take a look at ourselves speak up in that class and that class is mostly male dominated and the teacher in that class is like he's kind of older he's been here for a while so I just honestly think that it's more of like I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say but it's like it's the subject and the teacher that I just feel like less confident in the class and less confident speaking up. And mm. the people in my class kind of talk down to me oh, like a lot. Um, but I'm really interested in the subject. So I just keep going through and I'm not the best at it, but I keep trying. And that's a class where I'm not extroverted like at all. So mm. it's just, I don't know. I just think it depends on the the teacher, I guess, and the environment of the class. Yeah, I think it can be really sad if we don't speak up because we don't think we're good enough. Um, and for a long, long time, I didn't speak up because I didn't think that my views were valid or important or of any interest to anyone else. And so I stayed quiet. And, you know, that really changed, obviously. Um, because now I feel like what I've got to say might be of help to other people. I think when you're speaking up for your own ego, that um, can be dangerous territory. But when you're speaking up because you want to actually connect with others and you want to relate with others and you may even help other people, then I think it's really important that um, you do speak up. And so when we are hesitant about speaking up, I think we should ask ourselves why, what's the root of that? And, um, you know, ask yourself if the reason why you're not speaking up are, are based on fear or ego. A lot of times I have actually spoken up because I'm getting really defensive and needing to prove a point and needing to be heard because you know, I feel insecure without speaking up. You know, sometimes we so desperately want to be seen and heard because we actually feel deep down that we're not significant. And I think that's also been something I have been guilty of or struggled with where I so desperately want to be heard because I feel empty inside, essentially. And that's also something to think about is, you know, we don't always need to speak up to be valid. You know, a lot of people who say nothing at all can be extremely valid. I mean, you know, when we look at politics, there are some leaders that are constantly trying to take the limelight because they're so insecure. And there are some leaders that don't need to say much, but when they do, it's really, really powerful. And so, look at the motivation for why you're speaking up is it insecurity driven or is it so that you can really help someone my guest from episode 62 drives this point home so if it gets to that point where it's starting to affect your well-being mm. then you just have to deal with you know kind of speaking up and and defending yourself ultimately she puts it in a context where you know if she doesn't speak up and she's actually suffering inside because she's not speaking up that's when she knows that she does have to speak up but if she's speaking up to be defensive and 
to, I don't know, somehow cause trouble and chaos and generally make herself feel bigger than she actually is, then that's also a problem too. That's what I took away from the crow anyway. My next guest from episode 62 delves deeper into this point because I think sometimes women have really been afraid to speak up um, because of the things that they want to talk about. You know, they're not so easy to bring out into the open, but also because it hasn't been accepted and it hasn't been listened to. And that can often actually feel worse, you know, when you've tried to speak up and you've done the difficult thing of voicing what you really feel and then no one listens. I mean, that can be really awful as well. But I'd like to think that we are living in a time where that's changing, you know, with the Me Too movement and Black Lives Matter and all kinds of different movements people are actually starting to make their voices heard and people are starting to listen because those voices that are trying to be heard have been trying to be heard for a long, long time. But we are moving into a time of our lives where we're actually being listened to. And so what was once difficult for women to talk about back in the past may be easier today and that's worth considering this from episode 19 yeah the this whole movement where women are speaking up like i never had a voice i could never speak up about any kind of assault or um you know even just discrimination that wasn't something that was possible when i was growing up it it just wasn't listened to there was no forum for that there was no um there was no one who cared it was right like you you were assaulted in a hotel or whatever i mean wherever and i had one experience where i was really like really badly physically assaulted in an elevator and i had no one to stop like there wasn't anyone who would listen the police that didn't care you know it was like the kind of thing where you just didn't feel like you had an outlet for it and now if you can and and people will listen and and not judge you that is like an incredible shift I think things are shifting. I think people are starting to listen to women more because uh, people are starting to realise that there is very little difference between the capability of men and women. I think there's been such strong gender stereotypes in the past. But as time is marching on, I think gender stereotyping is really seen as being outdated. And, you know men can be like women and women can be like men I mean there's just all kinds of variations out there and I think we're becoming a lot more accepting of people's individuality and uniqueness and that makes speaking up a lot easier and so I think speaking up is really down to us actually predicting whether we'll be heard or not and my next guest from episode 76 talks about how she needed to learn about the environment around her, learn about what were the right things to say and what were the right things not to say. And I think that comes into it with speaking up. I think it's really important to be able to decide for yourself when it's a good time to open your mouth and when it's a good time to stay quiet. Um, And that really depends on the individual to figure that out for themselves. I often find that I'm having to, in every situation, uh, decide whether I should just stay quiet or, or say something. And no one can give me that advice. Like, it has to be down to me. And um, I don't know whether it's a thing about getting older, but I have to say that as I do get older, I find that actually staying quiet is the better option. Because when I was younger, I was always screaming and shouting about something. I really desperately wanted to be heard and to make my point. Um, But actually, as I've got older, it's like, who cares? You know, like, as long as I know what my point is, I don't need everybody else to know. And that's really about sort of knowing the context that I'm in. Because sometimes you can make a massive song and a dance about something, but you don't actually create change. And so, yeah, it's about discerning when the right time is to speak up. This from episode 76. 
you know, cause what I'm saying is I don't think we can kind of tie back our decisions to our lives all back to one central point. Um, I think that right. there's a lot of chance. However, really if you do sort change. of, yes, exactly. But if you map all the different things I've done, there is an element of always either being in a job and being really, really frustrated by the kind of lack of being up front, not lying, but like the lack of people just saying what's on their mind and being allowed to say what's on their mind, speaking up, you know, being told, oh, just do your time and stay in your place and your junior and all this and, and being so unbelievably frustrated by that. And I guess now mm-hmm. doing the work I do, I mean, I've just written a book that's all about, you know, how do we tell, how do we actually get to the root of what's really going on? I think speaking up really is about confidence and experience and you know connecting with people I think ultimately it's about really sort of doing the right thing by our ourselves as in speaking up if you're there for yourself defending yourself taking care of yourself being good to yourself not from an egotistical point of view, but from a place of love. And I think it's also really important to speak up if it helps other people. Don't do it for your ego. Don't do it for vanity. Don't do it for me, me, me. But actually speak up because you'll be able to connect with someone, help someone, inspire someone, be there for someone to do good. Um it has to be of service to other people in my opinion um because if it's driven by anything self-centered then you're not helping yourself or other people and for me there was no greater and more poignant example of this than from my guest from episode 36 because you know, in the midst of conflict of her parents' divorce, she had to really decide what was good for her and good for them. And so she spoke up. And I think that's the note that I want to leave you on, is that speaking up should be done from a selfless place. And when it is, it can be really powerful. This from episode 36. You know, when parents get divorced, there's always some of it ends up affecting the child, whether they intend it to or not. So I think just me kind of speaking up and saying, hey, this is affecting me in this way. I think if you did it this other way, it wouldn't so much. Speaking up has been a journey for me. I started out as a really, really shy kid where I never spoke up at all. I was literally mute. And then I went through a phase of finding my voice and talking non-stop and defending myself non-stop. And as I get older, I'm now realizing that all of that defensiveness is driven by insecurity and vanity and ego. And actually, I don't need to say as much as I think I do. I think being an example of the person you wanna be is already speaking up enough. You don't have to then say it Um, to really drive the point home I think silence can actually be the most powerful thing of all but at the same time I think it is really important to speak up if you have strong views and if you're going to help other people and so speak up if you've got something to say that will really be of service to other people and then hold your power within yourself you don't need to speak up if you're feeling defensive and insecure you know don't drain that power on other people keep it within you thanks for listening please do subscribe to this podcast and maybe even rate and review if you can i'd love to have your feedback about this episode or any others that you've listened to maybe even some suggestions for future topics for this show it's all about self-discovery and evolution on innovation so be kind and loving to yourselves and i wish you all a great week